Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Nick Gunter here in the WMC Action News 5 First Alert Weather Center with a new breakdown video. If you watched the last breakdown video, we talked about the layers of the atmosphere. The first one was the troposphere. This time around, we're talking about our next layer, which is called the stratosphere. And no, it's not the hotel and casino in Las Vegas. In fact, that doesn't really reach all the way into the stratosphere, of course. But we are talking about that layer that's very important because it has uh, layers within a layer within a layer. Kind of confusing. We'll break it all down for you. In fact, here's the layers of the atmosphere. We talked about the troposphere. Now we're moving up to the stratosphere. And the stratosphere actually has something very important that protects the Earth. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. How the stratosphere and why the stratosphere protects the Earth. So why is it so important for us here? So here's a look at the stratosphere. It's the uh, red shaded color here. And we have the troposphere. That's the first one we talked about. That's where weather is. That's where airplanes fly for the most part. And that decreases with height. So that's the indication of the uh, blue. Now, the stratosphere is different. It actually warms with height. So the temperature increases with height. That's basically due to the uh, absorption of sunlight from the ozone layer. So that's why it's a little bit different. So let's go ahead and look at a little information about the uh, stratosphere. Strat actually means layers. So there's layers within the layer of the Earth. That's why I said layers within the layers within the layers. So 15% of the total mass of the atmosphere is in the stratosphere, and it stretches about 8 to 30 miles above the troposphere. So that's how uh, wide it is. We have no storms or turbulence to mix the air, so it's virtually cloud-free. That's also thanks to the little water vapor that is in that layer of, of Earth's atmosphere. So when you see an anvil cloud, a lot of times it billows up to the point where it just stops and then it kind of spreads outward. Well, that's because it most likely reached the top of the troposphere called the tropopause. And then the next layer up is the stratosphere. So if you're looking in the sky and you see a big towering cumulonimbus cloud with thunderstorms, the top of that cloud probably hit the, tro uh, the uh, stratosphere. So as we look at the anvil cloud, the tall thunderstorm, basically the reason why it does this is because the air parcel is no longer warmer than the air around it. So that means it won't rise anymore. That's why it rises in the uh, troposphere is because it's warmer than the air around it. Kind of changes as it moves a little bit further upward. So the ozone layer pres resides here. This is important because we talk about the ozone layer because it protects Earth from harmful UV rays from the sun. Yes, some UV rays do make it to Earth, but this protects a majority of them. And few airplanes can actually fly in this level. That's just because the air is too thin to keep them up in the air. So that's why we fly in the uh, troposphere here. So here's our sunshine, bright beaming. It sends the rays down. Notice some of them do make it to Earth, but the ozone layer really does reflect a lot of them back. So that's what protects our Earth, and that's what keeps us a little bit more regulated when it comes to our temperature. So that's why the uh, troposphere is so important. Oh, the stratosphere and the troposphere are both important. They have both important jobs in Earth's atmosphere. So that is the breakdown on the stratosphere. Of course, we'll continue this to move up to the next level of Earth's atmosphere. If you like these breakdown videos, there are more of them at WMCActionNews5.com. Check them out. Watch them. Let us know what you think. Otherwise, this is the breakdown of the stratosphere, and I hope you have a great day.